Help. Help! Help! My bicycle addiction is spinning out of control. I think I have a problem. It's no secret that I love bikes, all kinds of bikes. So today I'm gonna give you a tour of my entire bike collection. But first, if you would like to add another bike to your bike collection, I'm cut off. I highly recommend checking out the sponsor of today's video, The Pros Closet. They've got road bikes, mountain bikes, and they even have dirt jumpers. They sell certified pre-owned bikes that have been carefully inspected so you don't have to worry about all the shoddy mechanics out there. Hey! And they've got a 30-day money-back guarantee so you can definitely get the exact bike you're looking for. Yes! That's what I've always wanted! Hit the link in the description to find the perfect bike for you. Alright, back to the tour. Bicycle. Number one, the Dream Sickle. This is my YT2S 2023. I just got it. This bike actually came with a lot of issues from the factory. When the chain is on, the bike has a weird bottom out and I still haven't figured out exactly what it is. So I've lengthened the chain and it doesn't really help. It's like that song. I love it and I hate it at the same time. I vinyl wrapped it in skulls. Skull vinyl. Custom vinyl wrap job. We've got vinyl wrapped rims. I like the vibe of Tanwall, but they don't make the Asagai in Tanwall. 27.5 E13 wheels, Maxxis Asagai front and rear. We've got the Fox 40 on the front, factory edition. The bars that came off of my shocker. So these are like from 2008. I've got Code RSCs, Lizard Skin machine grips, SRAM, seven speed downhill drivetrain, and some T Mac pedals. This thing is so heavy. Remember how I said I stole the handlebars off my other bike? This is a 2008 Cove Shocker and it probably weighs 45 pounds. Frame design since 2008 has really come a long way. Carbon bikes, oh my god. I consider this my downhill BMX bike. It feels tiny, it feels squirrely, but it also feels like you could jump 20 feet in the air if you wanted to off of a single route. Anyone that's been mountain biking for a decent amount of time sees this bike and they're like, oh my God, it's a cove. This was when mountain biking was cool. You watch those guys sending bikes like this off of cliffs and stuff, that is truly a feat. Pretty much everything on here is original to how I got the bike, with exception of the shock. Complete with the original. RockShox Boxer World Cup. At one point, I put a different fork on a newer Boxer because this thing was blown. One of the suspension mechanics I worked with said that it wouldn't be rebuildable. But then when I learned how to rebuild suspension, I was like, you know what? I think it is rebuildable. So I got a hold of SRAM. They sent me a seal kit. They had one left in the entire world for this fork and I got this thing running again. It's like a fully functioning fork and I totally wish I still had the original Fox shock that it came with because that would have been pretty cool. We've got 26 inch wheels, We've got Minion DHF front, Minion DHR rear. Check out the cool Cove stickers on here. Cove decals are unreal. Got that one. <laughs> Got that one, this one, oh yeah. We've got elixirs, Avid elixir brakes that still feel so good. Marzocchi Bomber CR coil shock, the original WTB saddle with the Cove skull and crossbones on there. Pretty cool, oh yeah. One of my old customers gave me these pedals. He like custom made them and he called them like the, the bear claw because they are like, your foot is not going anywhere. E13 chain guide, Truvative drivetrain mixed with Shimano parts, just kind of cobbled together. I just went biking on this thing like maybe a month ago. I did a shuttle day with it. 
then it was terrifying. Like I was switching between my two es and this, and this thing is just like, it's so scary going fast because it just feels like you're gonna fly over the handlebars. All right, the next bicycle in the bicycle collection. No comparison, the most abused of any of my bikes. This wonderful piece of machinery is the 20, 20 Da Vinci Spartan 27.5 Carbon. I say I love all of my bikes, but there's always the one, you know? Like polygamists, you know? They have like eight wives, but they have to have a favorite, right? Like I love it. This bike and me are BFFs. Okay, so let's jump into the details of this one. We've got a RockShox Lyric fork loaded up with volume spacers. Uh, boosted to 180. SRAM Eagle drivetrain, super deluxe shock, PW components, dropper post. 27.5 wheels laced up with race face arc rims. We've got an Asagai tire in the front, a dissector tire in the rear. Also known as the ass dissector. <laughs> Is that cute? <laughs> what I'm used to is a really worn down DHF in the rear, but that's kind of like the closest thing that you can actually buy. For the cockpit, we've got Bergtech grips, bars, and stem. I like all of it. The grips, meh. I wanna put the machines, lizard skin machines on here too. I just haven't gotten around to doing it. The frame has definitely seen better days. I'm basically just piling layers and layers and layers of vinyl, hoping that this thing won't die early. All right, next bike that we're gonna film, Pivot Point. So I actually got this bike from a subscriber. Howdy, I love this thing. What I use this thing for the most is going to the pump tracks because there's a ton of pump tracks in my town and they're really fun. Because I'm so not good at dirt jumping, I feel kind of dumb showing up to the dirt jumps with this bike because it's so nice. Maxxis Icon tires, front and rear. Fox Factory 36 fork. Stan's Flow MK3 wheels with i9 hubs, 26 inch, front and rear. We've got Dior cranks with a single speed setup, guide R brakes, and a deity cockpit. Ooh, steel frame. Steel is real. Ow! I don't ride it nearly enough. Should I talk about the motorcycle? Is that considered a bike? Kind of. One sec. This bad boy is my Yamaha 110. I use it for two things primarily. Number one, it comes with me on camping so that me and my friends can ride around the campground and cause a ruckus. It's also great for taking on poo trips, you know, when you have to nature poo, but you don't want your friends catching you squatting in the woods with your pants down. I also use it for solo shuttling. Basically, it's the most unnecessary and least efficient way of riding a bike. This is what you do. I loaded it onto a rack on my Subaru. I then put my bike on the top of the Subaru. I drove my Subaru to the mountain, left the motorcycle at the bottom, drove my car and bike to the top, left the car at the top, rode down the mountain, then hit my bike in the woods, grabbed the motorcycle, drove up to the Subaru, loaded the motorcycle onto the Subaru, went back down, picked up my bike. These are downhill shuttle trails. Why would I pedal if I don't have to? Okay, next bike. My stump jumper! My stump jumper! I love my stump jumper! It was my second ever mountain bike. So I don't really ride it anymore, but it is a super fun bike, mostly because it's so light. 2016 Carbon Stump Jumper Expert 27.5. I've got a 1x11 SRAM X1 drivetrain. Got the tan walls on there. These are Onza brand tires. We've got a Fox Float Factory Shock, Rock Shocks Pike, boosted to 160, Dior XT Brakes, SDG ODI Grips, and an FSA 
gradient carbon handlebar and stem. Original saddle and original specialized command post with three positions. Next bike, this one. Oh God. Oh God. Da da! My first ever bike as an adult. My first. You never want to get rid of your first. You cling on to your first with a death grip. You're not leaving me. His name is Norman and he is a 2014, I think, a specialized tricross sport. It's got an aluminum frame. We've got stock aluminum wheels, Shimano Sora drivetrain, two by nine, complete with a rack. I've got some Ortlieb panniers that match these cool, WTB tan wall byway 44 tires front and rear super short uno stem 35 millimeters so cl nice close reach avid mechanical disc brakes these are the shimano dior xt flat and spd pedal combo pedal and a WTB Coda saddle. I think it would be really fun to get a trailer and like go out to the islands and do a bike tour with me and Dusty. Like, wouldn't that be a great video? Next bicycle, alas, the final bicycle of the day. My 1970s cruiser bike, the free spirit. I got this thing for $30 from a lady that was a customer that said she wanted to sell it for 30 bucks. And I said, Hey, I'll buy it right now. And she was like, really? And I was like, heck yeah. I fixed it up. You know, it needed new tires, new seat, new grips. It was all covered in like surface rust. So I steel wooled like all the chrome and like cleaned it up really well. I'm pretty sure it's like the equivalent of like a target bike. Um, not a nice bike by any means, but it is very adorable. This thing has an internal three-speed hub. I've got some flat cruiser pedals, nice little genuine leather seat from Amazon, cool cork style grips, my little coffee cup holder that is just covered in coffee. I would ride this bike uh, to the coffee shop and put the coffee in my little cup holder and then I'd hit potholes and coffee would just spill everywhere. And a bell. I'll never get rid of it. But yeah, that's my bike collection. Thanks for watching. All right. See y'all later. Adios. Say hello to the camera. Here, let's wave. <laughs> Do I look like I have a problem?